What's going on out there, good people? It is your boy Look Around with LMD Trading. Just sitting back down at the trading station to uh, review my trades for the day. So, um, it was another green day. Another green day started the, um, started the week off good. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get trader view pulled up and go ahead and get um, get thinkorswim pulled up so that we can get those trades reviewed um, kind of try to make this one a quick one so let's go ahead and get everything pulled up all right let's go ahead and um, take a peek at trader view and let's see what we did on the day all right so we see we um took six trades today for a volume of 20 so that would have been 10 in and out trades and we had a um p l of 136 on the day so hit our goal for the day um, looked like we took our first trade at 10 11 and we were out at 10 53 and done for the day did get started a little a little late today um i had an appointment this morning so wasn't sitting at my desk at the open but i did kind of build my watch list um before the market opened so once i did get back get back to the trading station i was able to just kind of jump right in one of the trades that i took wasn't on my initial watch list um, which was mrna i kind of saw that one on my options scan watch list took a peek at it and um, saw the pattern that i liked so we'll go ahead and pull up think or swim and we'll review each of those trades so we'll get started with the first one which was spy uh, we bought one, uh, actually bought two puts um, on this one and let's see let's go ahead and get the spy pulled up and we'll look and see that first one we got in at 10 11 so 10 11 is right here on this candle here um, so we were getting in it on the two minute chart um, for it to break this area of what would be resistance when you're playing puts or you're playing shorts. Um, if you're looking at this chart to go long, this would be support. But because we're looking for the, st the stock to go down in price, that's actual resistance. So we got in right there. We got out of the trade almost one minute, just a little less than one minute after. Um, so we would have been getting out on this candle and we hit our target in that one minute. That was um, a $50 trade. So that was our first trade. We hit the ground running. Uh, we'll take a look and see what our next one was, which was the spy again. This one we got in at 1014, um, two contracts again. And usually on the SPY, um, it usually will be two contracts just because of the Delta um, that we're playing. Um, because the SPY, it doesn't really make those big drastic moves. So usually have to purchase two contracts to get the risk to reward that we're looking for so on this one we got in at 1014 so basically got in and out of those previous ones made our made our target and came right back in and got in on this one which on the two minute would have been almost right when we were getting out which wasn't really a decent trade to be getting into looking here um, it's a little extended Kind of would have wanted this to pull back up to this area 
which is now, which would have been support and kind of bounced off of it. Um, and this one we were in and out of again in a minute and we stopped out a little more than our one R. We stopped out on this one at $37. Let's get it pulled up. So yeah, see, we stopped out $37. So we caught a little slippage on this one on the way out. And that's, that's what you what you'll get sometimes. A lot of times it might stop you out right on your number. But um sometimes it can can stop you out with slippage and that's what we took on that one so um but you just pick yourself up by the bootstraps and keep on trading and as you can see we got right back in the spy again um next one we turn right back around and we made 75 dollars on that one so let's take a look at it on um think or swim so we got in this one at 1016. That's going to be way over here. So we got in that right there. So on the two minute, it would have been right there. Um, and if you go up and look at the five minute, let's see what it looks like on the five minute. So we had this nice move here. And then we had this nice topping tail. Um, that was forming, but we actually would have got in on the early side of this. Probably trying to play this to break. A little premature, a little premature, but um, we took two contracts on that and then ended up riding this pullback back and didn't stop out, and we ended up buying another contract right here after the pullback so you had this pullback and if you look at it on the two minutes you see it as well I had this pullback and then the next candle to break the low we were getting in so we were getting in on this candle right here 1036 and then we wrote that down and sold all the contracts pretty much at the bottom of that move um, and ended up um, pretty much making our target because like I said two contracts we would have had our 50 we added that one more contract to it which gave us another R or another $25 so that's where we got the 75 from on that so that was another green trade on the spy so on the spy we had two green trades and one red trade the next play that we did was on Facebook FB so let's take a look at that one so Facebook was another put play so we were playing that to go down we got in that one at 1022 so we would have been getting in on this candle again this was another one that we were playing um, should have won or not should have wanted we wanted to have seen that break this area of resistance pull back and then keep going so we got in a little early on that one um and we stayed in that one for 20 a little about 24 minutes got out at 10 46 so we got out right here um i could it pulled back didn't stop us then it made this move didn't quite hit target I'm assuming but we had this wide range red candle and then this green candle coming back almost engulfing it and then we just got out of that trade for a little less than one R got out of that one for a little less than one R because once we saw this we kind of knew the move was dead um, could have left the stop in place and we would have stopped out full but why do that when you know that the move is dead just go ahead and get out the trade so we did get out for um, just about a one R profit on that one um, the next trade that we took was MRNA again this is one that we saw um, on the options scanner watch list popping up and 
the chart was looking good and as you can see it's not even on my watch list so I'm gonna go ahead and type it in um, this one here was a was a doozy we ended up I'll pull it up real quick we ended up making our making our 2R making our two times our risk on it um, we got in it at 1051 and we were out of it at 1054 three minutes but wait till you see this chart so if we look at the chart we got in right around here that's 1050 so would have been in that candle we were playing this nice breakout that nice area of consolidation it's kind of pulling back to the VWAP um, we got in and it popped bang hit our 2R in three minutes but look at the move that it made had we kind of been watching that one um, can't be mad because we hit target but at the same time I can be mad because um, I'll just show you somewhat how the how the um, how you kind of count your money on these trades so which call was this this was the 237 call so this would have been this call right here that we were trading um, this 47 that's the Delta that basically tells you for every dollar that the stock moves you'll make forty seven dollars because again you multiply this point four seven by 100 so we got in a little aggressive that's the usual one that we'll normally play which is 23 so for every dollar that it moves we'll make or lose 25 dollars we did this one at 47 um, but if we look at where we got in we got in at 224 and let's just go to this move here actually we'll just go to this candle here so if we would have stayed into there, that was a $10 move. So if you say $10 um, times 47, that was $470 in that move right there on one contract that we paid $600 for. Because as you can see now, the market price for that contract is $967. So the market price on that contract is is nine hundred and sixty seven dollars. We'll go back in Trader View, and you can see we paid six hundred and thirty five dollars for that contract, and we got out of the contract at six dollars and eighty five cents. So six hundred and thirty five dollars. We got out at six eighty five. So that's the fifty dollar spread that we made on that contract, but. Like I said, if you look where that contract closed today, it closed at still at $965. So that there uh, was a pretty good move. And like I said, we made target. It, it, it helped us make our goal. So can't be too mad at that, but I can be mad. So let's go ahead, check out the next trade, which was our last trade, which was Baba. It was a put. We were playing that one to go down. Um, and that was a red trade. That was a red trade. So let's see here. We got into this one at 10.53. So yeah, we got an arrow already on there. So we got in this one right here. Um not really a good good i don't really see a good reason to get in this one right here um this one off the open made this move down um kind of pulled back kind of just meandered along pulled back to the vwap here would have eh, and not even really here because that still was a little congestion uh, maybe here might have been a good one to get in on this top and tail breaking this area here so breaking that area and getting in here would have been a pretty good move. But down here definitely was not a good area to get in. 
Um, and as you can see, the candle ended on a bottom and tail, which is a buying or a um, bullish, um, bullish kind of signal and pull right back up and ended up stopping us out. Um, we got out of that trade at 10.57. So we would have been getting stopped out right up in here. Um, yep, and then you see it kind of came back, retested this area, set a um, almost like a little double bottom retest, and then it made its move. Let's see what it did the rest of the day. Still stayed under the VWAP, but it just, yeah, just kind of meandered along. So that was a pretty good one. Then closed, closed over the VWAP. But yeah, like I said, though, take your stop and keep on pressing. Um, that's the best thing to do. So again, um, I pull them up. That's what we looked at for the day. Um, successful in the market. That's all you can ask for. Um, the good thing with this strategy that I am I'm using out of this account um, is you don't have to be right every time. As you can see, um, I took six trades. I was right four times, um, was wrong two times, and we still made money. Um, theoretically, you could be right 50% of the time with this strategy, um, risking $25. Um, if you're wrong two times, you'll lose $50. If you're right two times, you'll make $100 and you'll still make $50. So, um, as you said, I try to try to stick to around six trades a day. Um, that seems to kind of be that sweet spot. Um, and... You figure if if I'm right three three and, and wrong three, I still be close to close to goal. So um, again, I appreciate y'all checking me out. Um, if you didn't stuck around this long, I would definitely appreciate a like. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you didn't like the video, by all means, shoot me a thumbs down. But please leave some constructive feedback in the comment section. Um, just to help me, let me know what I can do to make this channel better. This is all new to me. The trading side of it is new. Um, YouTube side of it is definitely new. But um, like I said, I sit down and review these trades every evening. So I might as well record it, post it. Um, some people might be able to learn from it. Some people might be able to give me some information that can help me learn. So... I appreciate y'all time and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.